Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Gamer Thoughts, the show where I just talk about what's been jumbling in my head in the world of gaming this week. Uh, so today I want to talk about um, an interesting topic that I, I see all the time and you know you've seen it, but the concept of getting good at a video game. Um, I think this is, you know, there's the meme of it. Anytime some kind of difficult game comes out or a PvP game comes out and people are like, man, this is really hard. The, what, what do I need to do to get better? You often see this sentiment of get good. Uh, uh, and I wanted to talk about what that actually means uh, because I had an interesting experience with a game this week, uh, specifically with the Soulsborne title Bloodborne. Uh, so I had an interesting relationship with Bloodborne. Bloodborne was the first game I ever played on my PS4 when I got it seven or eight years ago. Um, and it was because it came with it. I bought my PS4 used and it came with Bloodborne. And I remember I quit the game after beating the second boss because I found it incredibly frustrating. It, I think the first boss maybe took me 10 to 15 tries and the second boss took me a couple days of just ramming my head at it till I beat it, which is very stereotypical of what you hear about Souls games experiences. So I quit the game. I've never played another Souls game since. Uh, until this week, I still own Bloodborne. I was on my PS5 and I thought to myself, you know, I, I want to try this again. Uh, all the talk about Elden Ring has made me want to try another Souls game uh, without having to buy another one. So I decided to sit down and play Bloodborne again. And I beat the first boss on my first try. And the second boss took me about three tries uh, to, to finish him. And I was like, man, this game is massively easier than it was eight or nine years ago. Um, and no, this was, I was 21 when I got my, my PS4. I wasn't necessarily young. I wasn't a kid who'd never played games before. Uh, however, I never played challenging games before. And I look back at the time between my first playthrough and my second playthrough of Bloodborne, and there's definitely been growth that has happened through other games. I remember the first game that I sat down and said, man, I want to get my most the most bang for my buck out of this game, and I want it to be a longer experience, was The Last of Us. And I put Last of Us on the hardest difficulty when I played it, and I died a lot, um, but I learned a lot of things about sneaking and about patience and how to solve puzzles of enemies. Um, other games that I tried were God of War 2018. I put that game on the hardest difficulty and I learned a lot about parrying and dodging. And if you've played God of War, you know about the final secret boss fight with the Queen of the Valkyries. That is a punishing, brutal fight, but it learns you how to watch telegraphed mechanics. It lets you know that there's cadences to battles. Um, and these skills that I learned from those games are transferable to other games. I think a lot of times we look at whether or not a game is hard or easy in a vacuum, but we don't look at the transferable skills that we've received as we've played other games and gotten better at gaming. I think a common place where you see this is MMOs. Uh, if it's your first MMO, there's a lot of terms and phrases even that you don't understand. DPS, tank, healer. Whereas once you've played one, when you hop over to another MMO, you understand those things as well as what in-game content means. You understand the term raiding. You understand so many things that you just inherently intrinsically know now because you've experienced them before. Uh, and so I think a lot of times we look at games and we're all like, oh, this game is easy or this game is hard and you need to get good. And we think of it like in a vacuum that when we look at the, this game, we're all like, oh, yeah, this game's easy. I don't understand why people are struggling with it. And not even necessarily the vacuum of the game, but the vacuum of our own experiences with it. When we look at a game and we say, oh, wow, this game is difficult or this game is, is hard or easy, we're looking at our own experience. We turn around and we say, oh, well, I've played Souls games or I've played first person shooters or I've played MMOs with much harder rating that makes everything seem easy to me. But when you look at someone else's experience, it could be their first time playing an MMO, it could be their first time playing a, a Soulsborne game, it could be their first time playing an RPG. And when we say, oh, this game's easy, why are you having trouble? We're 
taking it from our own experience where we have taken the time through many different games, many different difficulty settings to get good and take those transferable skills. And maybe there's some adjusting that needs to happen with a new game, but we're able to look at it and say, oh, this is where I parry, this is where I dodge, and these are the windows, and learning those things is much easier uh, than someone who's doing it for the first time. Uh, so why, why am I going on this rant? Why am I talking about all this? Uh, I think it's just important when we talk about games to our friends and we talk about them being hard or we talk about them being easy, um, we take into account their experiences. I think when we're recommending games to people, it's not just enough to be like, oh, well, I really enjoyed this game and this is my review. But sitting down talking with your friends and saying, oh, well, have you played a game like this before? Oh, do you have experience in this type of genre? You may enjoy this because this game because of X, X, and X. Um, and you may find this game hard if you've never been exposed to X, X, and X. Um, but I think the, the moral of this story is that getting good is a different journey for everybody. Uh, it takes time and it's not necessarily in the vacuum of a singular game to get good at. Uh, you can transfer skills from lots of places in your gaming journey and quote unquote, get good at gaming. But what do you guys think? What was what was the first game that you tried that was incredibly difficult that made you learn mechanic systems, learn parrying, dodging, made you get good at gaming as you would think? Let me know down in the comments uh, what your gaming journey has been like. Uh, but that's Gamer Thoughts today. If you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. I put out one of these videos every week as, lot, as well as lots of other gaming content on the channel. As always, much love. We'll see you next time.